Yo, what's up you guys? It's your boy Saucy back at it again with yet another video and today we're actually here at Fourth Fort Worth. Actually, take that back. We're not at Fort Worth. We're at Arlington yeah. Regionals and it's my boy Jackie Mock. What did you get today and what did we play? Uh, I got fifth at the 1000 person regionals oh with Oh my god, Reiju. you're a freaking animal dude Reiju. playing a Reiju. This yeah. man is a beast and he got top 32. He actually got top seed in Swiss. He was the only undefeated. And with Reiju of all things, this man is a freaking animal. Congratulations on that win. Um, show me what you got, man. What are we cooking today? Yeah, uh, I have a very, very standard list. I didn't know like the text or anything. I just thought yeah. we just, just play the most consistent list. So it's like four of the problem with everything. It's like four mm. Kayas, uh, four of the reds, big red, small red. What do you call them again? Oh, I call like I, I don't like I, I don't even call them Ichiji or Niji. I, I just call them Red Guy and Blue Guy. Red and Guy and girl. Blue Guy, Big Girl, dude. Yeah. This and then we call Pudding savage. Girl. She's uh, just girl. Yeah, she's just girl. Dang, she doesn't even get a name. Yeah, because because my teammate is Nikki Goldman, and that that man doesn't want to learn card names, so we just say that when we're play and testing. Then you can't miss it, man. Girl, pink girl, red yeah. guy, blue guy. Yeah. There you go. So we just play like four of everything. Um, I see some people cut the blue uh, mm. to like like three and three. Yeah. But I actually think, especially because the meta is primarily black decks right now. Yeah. My two favorite cards are, are actually pink and blue versus mm. red. Red's really good against like um, Sakazuki yellow, or... yeah, yellow decks. Yellow decks. Uh, okay. I, I actually don't think it's that great against the black decks. You, you mm. rather do these cards early game, ramp into the judge, and then start uh, uh, like and closing the game out with red. Like red Got early you. isn't like that strong. Like it, the turn two Ichiji play is not really that strong. You you yeah. prefer to play the pink early on. Yeah, like if I had the option of mm. going. Four dawn for this or two dawn for this. I would yeah. rather swing seven with leader, play this, and draw three cards than have a seven k body. Like, uh, yeah, this is actually insane. It, it's not always like that, but for the most part, I rather play that way and just like have a big hand so you can you can get to judge. Like against wow. the black deck, judge is like the most important card just because I agree. They get so much value from gecko. Your way of like counteracting that is having a judge. Did um I noticed you only play three two Ks actually three of the uh, double fingers instead yeah. of four? Yeah. Did that ever come up for you where you felt like you needed an extra two K or did you ever play the double fingers like mainly just two K counter? Um, the, the double fingers are like ninety nine percent of the time but just the two K. You never hard playing it really. Mm. Um, the one good thing about double finger versus like another two K is yeah. for example is uh in the mirror match. You can like sack your opponent by like having oh, it getting in life, off life. and you minus the dawn, and then now if they weren't like smart and like because like if you play the mirror, mm -hmm. uh, and you're the one that's behind in dawn, I always try to use effect before swinging because if you trigger this, and they minus the dawn, and then now none of your cards now you're have trapped. Play. Yeah, and then it's like oh you, wow. you lose so much value. So that's like the one good thing about this in the mirror. The another mm -hmm. good thing about this in the mirror specifically is mm -hmm. if you're the one that's already ahead in dawns so none of your effects work with your vanilla leader mm -hmm. the two best cards i kind of like to see is this or the, queen, the queen because queen will still get uh an ability so it's not a vanilla and you draw a card off the leader effect and wow. then this thing will help you ramp faster to judge in the mirror match it's pretty op to like get to judge because they'll, they'll, yeah, they'll try to be minus. like one or two dawn behind you yeah when you play this you minus a dawn and yeah. you, you play all these cards right and then you can use the other minus effect yeah. for fun so yeah, you go back another to get one, lower. and then normally uh, you can minus like one more that you probably don't need for the turn. So like mm. most of the time you probably won't need the blue. So you just make the blue, and then you can go. You can get the pink and the red effect to like fight for board, and I like that in the mirror. Like yeah, I actually uh, I played the A drop into red purple law, yeah. and they didn't without them knowing. I yeah. I literally like minus four for the turn, and I was yeah. able to get off two abilities. So it's another uh, great thought about the A drop. Tell me um. Would you consider replacing the double finger for maybe like a Gion for for Nami? Nami, um, it seems like there's quite a bit of Namis showing up as a play. I think generally you have a pretty good Nami matchup. Mm. Um, playing the Gion and drawing it probably like is the nail in the coffin if like, you're really respecting Nami. But for the yeah. most part, if Nami doesn't draw like insane, like they'll go like peel off into White Snake, into peel off into like White Snake, like yeah. painting. 
Like for the most part, if they don't get that, you should win the matchup because okay. your deck is aggressive enough with the sevens. Um, I respect that. Yeah. And I'm all saying this in the context that you you open stage because like <laughs> most of the time if you don't open stage, this deck doesn't function that it's well. It's pretty rough. Yeah. Like like I'm not gonna lie, in my ten rounds in Swiss. Mm -hmm. I only didn't open stage two times and Wow the, That's really fortunate. Yeah, but yeah. And we, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. You were hard mulling for the stage though. I'm yeah, yeah. Like if you okay. don't see stage, uh, most of the time you mulligan. The only exceptions are kinda like if you have these two in your hand. Mm. Um outside of that I would I would just probably hard mull for stage. Um That's fair. Also if you have this in your hand maybe and you feel like oh it's gonna be in like the top like seven or eight cards of your deck then it's fine maybe not to mulligan if the hand's good enough for this event do you feel like <clears throat> four is necessary or you think three is okay um that's a good question because uh i feel like this card is really strong because it helps you in your early game but towards the later end of the game you want to use your dons aggressively because reiju doesn't have like the full 10 so that's most true. of the time you're pitching it off of like your stage uh, germa just to like not have dead cards in hand mm. um i can see people wanting to like if you really wanted to play a tech card or like if you wanted a fourth queen or something yeah uh, i think that might be okay i just personally think like this opening hand is like, it's like amazing it's just like oh i can't lose <laughs> even you're... though i lost in top eight open <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's yeah. insane actually yeah but but for the most part when you open these two cards you're, you actually just, you know, i feel like you can't lose if you're going second what's your thoughts on running queen um, so initially, uh, I, I was following the guy that top eight, um, Santa Clara. Mm -hmm. He played four double figure and two queen, and I actually lost to that guy at Santa Clara uh, oh, wow. when I was playing Kata. But uh, and you're like, can't beat him, join him. Yeah, no, I actually <laughs> told him that he's at the event. I was telling him that I was like, you inspired me to play Grey Jew, bro. Um, but, yeah, that's amazing. Um, but <laughs> I was kind of scared of Kata Curry just because, like. Mm -hmm. Even though most people think Raju has a good Kata matchup, and for the most part, you you kind of do. Yeah. Uh, it's just yellow can yellow you, so um, I wanted like a higher chance of not losing to yellow, like even Yamato. So I, I added the third one just like because uh, my my buddy told me that uh, Queens is really strong in the matchup, and after playing a bit and reading the, um, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. I think yeah. he's a European player. He mm -hmm. posted an article about like Rage, how to beat. Kata with Reiju, I read it, and I was like, yeah, that all makes a lot the of sense, makes so sense. like, let's play the third queen. And I it's love just it. like the most vanilla list, like, yeah, so. Yo, just, vanilla it is, but it's still won you a lot of games, yeah. so. Hey man, thank you for uh, showing us your deck list, dude, and congratulations for an amazing performance today, and yeah. uh, I'm sure we'll see more of that. Uh, are there any other regionals you're coming, you're going to? Yeah, I'm taking like a two month break I two think. months yeah what? i, I I'm, I'm not like crazy like my team traveling to every event i, I think yeah. my next event is probably la back at home before i let you go man do you have any shout outs yeah um i like to shout out like to my whole testing group my my whole like group like everyone um they all know who they are but like yeah hell yeah want to shout out my boy nikki Adam, Savage. Kyle, my boys, and then of that's course the my sponsor, the goat himself, Dylan Chu. Dil Ooh, Dylan, check that's it the out. boy. Yes, that's check it out. Goat. And of course, shout us to Saucy, Dude, being the, the goat too. Thank yeah. you, sir. I'm hoping to do well next time, like you did. But uh, we'll see how it goes, man. Yeah. Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Till next time, brother. Yep. Take care. Later.